<clears throat> okay, um, it's been a minute since I've done a, a tutorial, so I'm going to get started on a how to make a shoot 'em up game similar to Pixelcraft using Unity and C Sharp. Um, but I'm going to call this part zero because what I want to do first is go over how to make some pixel art on your own using some free tools that you can find online. So the tool I'm going to be using today is called Piscal and it's at piscalapp.com. I'll put the link in the description. Um, you can create sprites online here, and if you want to, there's also an offline version. Uh, it's open source, it's, it's a really cool program. So I'm going to go to Create Sprite, and I'm going to be creating a few sprites today. I'm going to be creating one for my player, I'm going to be creating one for an enemy, I'm going to be creating a, a couple texture sprites. So the first thing I'm going to do is just check my size, and I want this to be 32 by 32. And I'm going to first work on kind of the, the outline or the silhouette of what I want my spaceship to look like. So I'm going to choose the vertical mirror pen. And I'm going to go over here. And I'm just going to kind of, I don't know, draw what feels good. I mm, kind of don't want that. I'm going to go out for a little bit and then go back in and go way back in. Um, Okay, so some properties of pixel art that we should talk about before we get too deep into this. So when you're making a pixel art image, um, you want to avoid making jaggies as much as possible. So for example, I want to have two little kind of wing things that go here. If I just draw straight down, it makes this really jagged line that is really, really hard to look at. So instead of doing that, oh yeah, since I have my second color is transparent, so if I right click I can just delete a color. I want to kind of ease the view in using what are called doubles, and if I used only doubles it would be very very easy on the eyes, at least compared to just using those kind of jagged pixels. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to have my wing come back up here somewhere like that. So I got these kind of wings coming off to the side. I'm going to have this bridge in the center. So let me do that. Cool. No, it's probably too low. It should probably match the wing. So the wing's here. So I'll do this. That's not too bad. And then I'll have it match the wing down here too. Yeah, it doesn't look bad at all. I'm going to use my paint bucket tool to fill in all these empty areas so that I can take a look at how the silhouette looks. And over here, that's, that's not too bad. Uh, I think I might want to move this part of the bridge up a little bit. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Um, okay, so now I'm going to kind of, I don't know, almost chisel out of here to make something that looks more like what I wanted. I kind of already had a concept for this. And I'm just kind of working towards that concept. Um, I don't want to have just a lone pixel standing up there, so that's not too bad. So if you just have like this one little jagged line, it's not a huge deal. And it is breaking the rule I just told you about, though. Um, then down here, I'm going to do something similar. So actually, no, I don't want to do that. I'll cut off from here. All right, cool. And from here. And from here, and then from here. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. So now I want to choose a color. Um, I'm going to go with kind of a washed out tealy blue, almost gunmetal. Um, okay, so I just picked this color at random. I'm going to go, if you don't know anything about color theory, uh, on the left to the right is saturation. So to the right is more saturated, to the left is less saturated. Top to bottom is, um, I guess, darkness. And then off here on the right is the hue. I'm going to go a little more saturated, but a little darker. And I kind of like how that looks. Um, and I'm just going to kind of add colors as I go. I'm going to go for something white. Go back to my vertical pen tool here. And I'm going to color in like a bridge viewport or something. Yeah, that's not bad. I'm going to fill that in. Actually, let's make that black. Cool. 
And then that way, if it's black, I can add a little white accent as a highlight. So I can just go in here and do that. Yeah, that looks not too bad. I want to imagine my lights coming from up here somewhere. Now I want to choose an accent color. So I chose this kind of almost green color. My accent should be uh, red or orange. Uh, blue would be good too. I could go with like a almost purpley blue and that would probably look okay. Let's try that out. So I'm gonna go down here and just kind of paint this in a little bit and see how it looks. And here we go. So again, I'm trying to, whenever possible, have my transitions use at least two pixels. Uh, it's not always possible it's right here, but uh, if you can do that, it's good. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna go down a little bit more. Maybe bring this down a little bit more too, like that as well. And that. I'm kind of looking at it over here just to see. Uh, if you can't see the full sprite, you can just choose, so like it might default to 1x. If you just go up here, change the size to full size. Um, and then I want to kind of carry this, uh, I don't know, almost purple motif over here. Um, and then maybe on the back part of the wings as well. I kind of want to leave this delineated as that green though. Um, okay, I'm going to take some black, draw this in as black, just for like an engine or something. Maybe gray, maybe not black, maybe a dark gray. See how that looks. That's not too bad. Not want to go a little bit darker. So one thing that Fiscal has is this tool that paints it, uh, all pixels the same color. So rather than having to use the paint bucket twice, I can just do that, and then it does all of them that are the same color. I'm going to put in some highlights and low lights. I'm going to imagine my light source is up here and coming this way. So I'm going to go to my main color and find a low light color for it. The general rule of thumb for finding low lights is you go halfway to black and then you want to shift your hue one direction or another. It doesn't really matter. If you go down for low, light, or for low lights, then you should go up for highlights and vice versa. I'm going to go down a little bit. And I'm going to use my regular pen tool for this. Wait, I don't want to do it there. I want to do it kind of the seam here. And then same thing over here. So I guess I could have just used my vertical pen tool. And then I want to do the seam going down. So I want to imagine that this has some depth to it. So I just want to think about how the light would fall on it. No, I want that to be a nice neat straight line. Okay, I'm going to use my paint bucket to color in these. Just kind of look at it over here. Let me do the other side and see if I like it on the other side. Um, it's a lot of just testing stuff out, seeing if you like it. Um, as far as pixel art goes, make sure that you're not using anything that isn't yours. Um, people own stuff, even ideas, so make sure that you respect that. All right, so I'm going to go make some highlight colors. So just like the low light is halfway to black, I'm going to go halfway to white. And I went down for the low light, so I'm going to go up for the highlight. Um, go back to this tool. And actually, I'm going to use my vertical pen tool because I'm going to draw a highlight right here. And that's not bad. Maybe if I draw a highlight down here. That's probably too much. Let me go back to what I was doing and just leave without a highlight. Yeah, it's not bad. All right, so I'm going to add a new frame. By default, Piscal thinks you want to make an animation. Uh, I'm just going to go over here to where it says 12 frames per second and just pull it all the way down to zero. I'm going to make my enemy ship. And again, I'm going to start with a silhouette. So I'm going to just make a great big circle. So my player ship is kind of angular. It would be nice to do something to contrast that for the enemy. Uh, fill this in. 
and I take my vertical pen tool, start just kind of carving out of here using the right mouse button. Um, okay. Um, my idea was kind of, I don't know, like the Rebel Alliance logo, uh, where you've got this circle with some stuff kind of carved into it, and then have this part up here be like the ship's bridge or something. Similar to like the Cylons from Battlestar Galactica. I went a little too far with that one. Maybe one way to here. Cool. And now I'll start cutting over. And then I've already like this. Go down. Same thing here. I'm just going to cut down. I don't know. Leave like a kind of hammerhead design there. And then I'm going to cut into here a little bit. I kind of like that. Um, now I need a color for it. My main ship, my player ship is, is kind of tealy color. So to play off that, let's go with something kind of washed out in red. There we go. It's not bad. I'm going to go to my vertical pen again and I'm going to draw in a uh, viewport for these guys. And then I'll paint that in. Yeah, that's not bad. Um, I need a contrast color. I don't want to use green. So let's try like an orange maybe. Okay, so I'll go to my vertical pen tool. And I just want to see how this looks. I like that. Uh, another kind of, it's not really a rule, but just a thing that you want to watch out for when you're doing pixel art, is you want to try and leave as few stray pixels as you possibly can. So like I've got a stray pixel there. And if you look over here at the picture, it looks really weird and out of place. But now, since it's got other, like it's two stray pixels, it doesn't look quite so bad. And I'm just going to kind of, again, I'm just kind of playing, seeing what I like, seeing what I don't like. Um, yeah, I actually kind of really like that. It's almost like Iron Man, the, the red and orange together. I know he's red and yellow, but I kind of like the way that this red and this orange play off each other. Yeah, I really like that. I'm going to go back here and add some black for the um, engine. And I'm going to add, I'm thinking the sun's coming from the same direction. I'm going to add uh, some low lights, again, halfway to black. And I'm going to pitch shift it. Or not pitch, <laughs> hue shift. Uh, I'm going to use my plane marker, or my plane pen tool. And I'm going to try to do something here called dithering, at least for there, and then maybe for here too. So what dithering is, is when you kind of checkerboard your colors to make your eye see it as if it's kind of blending together. You don't want to do it too much, because it looks odd if you do. Um, I'll just go over here to the paint bucket that in. Yeah, I think I did it probably one too many times. That's better. If you were to dither all the way down, it would look really strange. Now I want some kind of highlight here for the white, so go let's say to yellow. Just something so I can see that there's like a flash there to make it look a little more circular. Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, okay, so those are my two ships I'm going to be using to start with. Now I'm going to add some frames to use for textures. So I'm going to add a just a plain white rectangle. So I'll go to white. Just have this take up the whole thing. I'm going to be using this for a lot of like damage effects since I want it to look really chunky and pixely. I'm going to add another one for 
kind of a basic projectile that the player can shoot. Okay, I'm going to fill this in. And then I'll add one more for like a solid laser blast. I've always thought those looked cool. So I'm going to try to get this as centered as possible. I'll fill this in with white, but because I want it to look like a laser blast does, yeah, good Star Trek. Um, going to kind of fill this in with a grayish color. So let's go to a nice cool gray. Right. And since I'm making these white in Unity, I can make them whatever color I want. Because uh, I can just lay a color on top of it, and if it's white, I'm laying a color on top of it makes it whatever color I want it to be. Um, okay, cool. So I'm going to export these. I'm going to go over here to my export settings. I can export them as just a great big, as a GIF, which if you're doing animation, you might want that, as a PNG sprite sheet. And Unity does have its own built-in sprite sheet editor. But since I want um, to use some of these for textures, I'm going to go to Others and download each of these individually as PNG files. So I'll download that one. Uh, same thing here. Download this one. Same thing here. Download, uh, download, and last one, download. And for Mac, they save it just to your downloads file right here. So there, I've got them. Um, okay, so hopefully tomorrow I should be able to post the video starting with the controls for the ship. Um, thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Oh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions or whatnot. Thanks.